Hey everyone, Sarah here with SewingPartsOnline.com and today we're going to learn how to assemble a needle clamp. We get asked about this a lot and it is surprisingly easy. Now this is for a brother machine. It fits most brother and baby locks. However, if you have a different machine, that's okay. We do sell those parts and the principal parts are pretty much the same. It's, it's all pretty much the same. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear out an open flat area to work. We're working with tiny parts, so I recommend line your parts on a piece of scrap fabric to stop your small screws from running away from you. You're going to need a few additional tools for this, a flathead screwdriver and a small Allen wrench. Mine is 5 64ths of an inch, super small. So let's get all of our parts out and organized. When you buy your needle clamp assembly, you get four parts, the body, the clamp screw, the set screw, and the clamp pin. And if you're new to sewing or if you've never assembled your own, this can be pretty intimidating, but don't worry, it's actually super simple. And if you haven't already, make sure you also get a thread guide. You'll save yourself a massive headache by buying it now. So now that we've got everything laid out and organized, let's assemble our needle clamp. Get your Allen wrench and your clamp screw, that's this one. Screw your set screw into the smaller hole on the body. You don't need to run it all the way through, just enough so that it's secure and won't fall out. This will screw into your needle rod later. Next, get your needle clamp pin and drop it in, pointy end first, into the large cylinder adjacent to the screw we just inserted. This is what's gonna hold your needle in place while you're sewing. Then grab your clamp screw and insert it on top of the clamp pin. Next, grab your needle thread guide, take the straight end and run it through this slot on the bottom of the body. When it's all the way in, the circular part should be flush against the bottom. This will make threading your needle much easier. Now, Take the assembly to your machine and attach it to the needle rod using the smaller set screw. This will hold the thread guide in place. Now insert your needle. If your needle doesn't fit properly, make sure those screws are loose enough to accommodate the needle. And that's it. You've just made your very own needle clamp. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you want to come and hang out with our sewing community, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, Twitter at sewingparts, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, we're everywhere. And be sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe for next week's sewing video.